Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial on this channel. I am Rafael Adeyemo. In previous tutorial in this series, we have learned how to reference password using VLOOKUP and we have also learned how to generate user password that is strong and cannot be easily guessed or broken. In today's tutorial however, we are going to learn how to create a simple login form that username and password have already been hard-coded onto the user form. This type of login form can be used for application that allows for more and more people to work on the same workbook but they do not require special password to gain access to the workbook or software. I am still using the old file that I created from our previous tutorial. At this point, let me give conventional name to the user form so that we will know which user form is being used for a particular application. So this one is login. So let's give this one, let's give it the name simple login underscore one. Okay, then the second one will be generate password. So let's give it generate pass generate underscore so with user form 3 then let's give it a name simple login 2 underscore 2 okay so now we are done with the naming let's double click on it and create our login form I need a label here and with this label, let me give it the name user name name increase the font size so let's increase the font size to 14 try it out a little bit let's make a copy and paste here then let's give it the name password okay so the next thing that I'll need is I'll need a text box let me draw this text box out here let me give the name txt username then the font size let me increase it to 12 make a copy and paste and with this one let me give it the name txt password enter now i need one command button here and with this let me give it the name btn login and the name the camp the name or camp caption should be log in and increase the font size to 16 Okay, let me make a copy and paste and that one. Let me make give it a caption exit. So this is our simple design. Now with this one the name let me give it a, the caption BT and exit BT BT and this is how our design will look like. I want to add picture to the background of this user form. So let me click on it and then come down here and look for picture. Navigate to where I've saved my picture and then I have a picture on the desktop which I would want to use. So let me click on it and then click open. So let me come to 
click here and then click on stretch now let me run it to see how. so this is how my user form is going to look like let me draw it out a little bit this is how my user form will look like let me add one more label up here and give it a caption increase the font size and the font color too let me change it to let me make it transparent there okay so let's log out now let's add our coding to the btn login let's double click on it and declare this variable team user as string team password as string that is the end of our variable then user will be equal to txt user name dot value whilst password will be equal to txt dot value let us now write an if statement to give a condition to the txt user name and also the txt password if user equal to all matches user and password equal to user or user equal to admin and password equal to admin then then and if so what should happen if the user is equal to user and the password is equal to user when the application is run the username here can either have the name user and also the password to be user or it can either have admin as the username and also admin as the password so if that condition is satisfied then what happens then we should tell the form to on and that is the end of the code let us run it to see then it's on load I have already done a video where I showed you how to show or hide the password characters and if you have not watched that video please do so and learn how you can either hide the password character or show it let me click on the TST password and go to password character and I should take the pound sign as my password character let's get back into the code so let's click on user form query close and and add this line of code if close mode equal to zero then cancel equal to true 
this line of code is to prevent us from directly closing the user form when it is run from here so when we click on it it will not close the only way we can close this user form is by exiting it from here so let us write a code for that so click on exit and then we say unload me okay so if we do that and click on it then the form will unload and with this we have come to the end of yet another educative tutorial on this channel please do not forget to push on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when i come on your way when i come your way with another tutorial on how to create a dynamic user login form if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please do so now to encourage me to continue to create this tutorials for you. Bye bye for now.